Lifeheart resonated with players uh, initially because it was, you know, a very exciting time in the games industry with PlayStation's arrival and the move to, to proper 3D gaming. There was always a perception of, of gaming being for kids, but all of a sudden gaming become cool and all of a sudden it wasn't just teenagers and young kids playing games, it was late teens, 20-somethings and 30-somethings. It influenced the culture back in the 90s, the club culture back in the 90s, and it was uh, very much of its time. Literally, it was like a phenomenon. Some of the advertising associated with it, with uh, Cox, with the, the blood coming out the nose, um, that was considered kind of insane, completely left field. And of course, having CD quality music in there and, and being one of the sort of pillar launch titles for PlayStation, um, just, just sort of cemented its position in, in players' minds. The first track that I created, it was kind of Nine Inch Nails, he, you know, tries to go trance and it didn't work. So Nick was quite kind. He said, I think you need to embrace the whole vibe a bit more. Go to a club, that, that kind of music scene. And from that, I was meant to derive exciting, fast-paced music, something that would go in with that whole kind of, I guess like a trance vibe. It's all about the flow, you get yourself into a, a particular zone with it and you'll find that before very long you're just using muscle memory and you're one with the music and you're one with the game. The precision of it and the, the way you had to be in control of the craft all the time, the differences between the different teams, the rivalries, just mirrored sort of present day motorsport but projected into the future. It's just one of the most unreal experiences that you'll have. Wipeout lives with you. It works so well on HD, it worked well on Vita. What we were doing is putting a compilation of these games together, so we didn't really want to touch the gameplay, but revamp the visuals, revamp the audio, make it feel fresh for hopefully a new audience, because there's a lot of people out there on, on PlayStation 4 now who wouldn't have had the PlayStation 3 or have ever experienced Wipeout. PlayStation 4, gonna be great at 1080p. PlayStation Pro, of course, I've got a 4K TV, which is a HDR TV. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful to look at. I absolutely cannot wait for Wipeout Omega Collection to hit. Seeing it in 4K on PlayStation 4 Pro is just one of the most unbelievable experiences for me. It's a beautiful moment. PS4 for the players.